Hey everyone, it's the 3D Boo. Welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. Last time, we got our first star ranking. This time, we'll be going into part 2 or part B of the Obsidian Fieldlands and catching some Pokemon. Now, we'll be getting our first ride Pokemon. It'll be pretty fun. Yes, let's begin. I'm doing excellent. A few days ago, Paper Mario launched. I'm excited and happy that it was this time. Okay, let's head back out. Heading out to the Obsidian Fieldlands. I'm excited in a few days. It'll be the weekend. And then, next, next weekend is Easter, and not this weekend, but next weekend will be Olive Garden for me. Boo! Did I surprise you? I bet I did. I was trying to, anyway. Usually that's me. I just walk up behind someone, go hi, and they go, ah! Pretty funny. I don't even try. There's a secret technique to catching Pokemon, you see. It's called the back shot. I think a Pokemon with your Pokeball will surprise it and make it easier for you to catch. I don't think this is very good. Okay, I can teach you. Okay. No Mario can forward to the day that you accomplish catching every Pokemon in his suey. Okay. Now, a request from me. Recently, I watched this very funny Sponge episode about Mr. Krabs in his Navy days. He was doing a cargo ship with suntan lotion. That's pretty funny. Okay. I'm gonna go level up Electro some more. Now, you can only cross this bridge when you have a one star ranking. Now, when we leave here, I'll be getting a two star ranking. There are many strong Pokemon on the home of this bridge. I can't let you pass unless you first have a rank of one star. Go on, then show me. Let your guard down, but choose to safety until you find yourself in trouble. Okay, you'll be having a battle up ahead against a Munchlax. I recommend you have a fighting type, but you can't have one so far, so... It's okay. Over here. This is done. My, my, new face in the village. Not that it matters if you're new. If you're here, I assume you're prepared to help. Is that a magnet hairpin? It actually looks like one. I am one of the wardens of the diamond cut. You can call me May. I suppose you might not even know what a warden is if you're new to Hisui. A warden is one of those people that cares for a special type of Pokemon and raises it to be strong. Noble Pokemon, ride Pokemon. There's two in every single region. So there's ten. You only hate one of them, though, and you truly will hate this one. Once you meet this person, what such talk can wait? I'd no, rather I get to the point. I have a problem that I need to solve. The more important question is this. Do you feel confident you can lead your Pokemon in a battle? I do. That's good to hear. The security corpse of your certainty wasn't up to the task. This is my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. He battles at my side without needing any silly balls, you see. Watch and learn. Here's my question. If you raised him without a ball, how'd you catch him? You can't just make friends with a Pokemon and bring him home like Haunter. That never works. Okay. Let's try Thunderfang. Ooh, that's powerful. I will get a paralysis soon. Yeah. Let's try Ice Fang. Let's just tackle. Okay. You're up, Blade. Plus, we have Rock Smash, which was a good move at the time. 
Oh yeah, we never put it on. We'll put it on in a sec. Battle decided. Hmm, one book can evolve. One in another cascoon. Come on. You're not one of those usual galaxy buffoons if you could defeat my partner. Did you just call our galaxy team buffoons or us buffoon? One of the usual buffoons. So we're not a buffoon in her eyes. Oh fuck, Munchlax. Munch. I'll take care of the Pokemon that battled for us. Thank you. Now you have this. You people make all sorts of things with your crafting. This should really be useful. Okay, we'll need more to make. Revives. Bring your Pokemon fought loud together. They practically acted as one. Out of the light, the legendary hero, the one whose stories tell it to our children. I think you're indeed the one for the job. You see, I need someone to deal with an alpha Pokemon up on Deer Track Heights. Now, an alpha Pokemon was like Rapidus. Crazy strong, crazy powerful, red eyes. Okay, let's head up there. Our arc phone is beeping. Is that the strange thin gummy of yours telling you where to go? Hmm, my my, this is curious sort of map. Some of the galaxy team inventions keep hearing about. It certainly does seem to show the way the deer truck hats up ahead. Oh, this bit to you, shouldn't have any problems facing Alpha. Seems you're quite prepared. Though, before we continue, I must ask, do you already know about Almighty Sinnoh? Almighty what now? I'm not a Sinnoh guy, I don't know what Sinnoh really is. I'm more of a Kanto dude. I suppose that's to be expected. I'm gonna sketch out the basics. Almighty Sinnoh steers all time is said to have created the very universe using the power over time's flow in the land of Isui was born in the process. Now, the Pearl Clan will think that space was created, not time. It's by the grace of Almighty Sinnoh that the Pokemon can live and thrive here. We the Diamond Clan are descendants of the people of time who crossed the sea and settled here in the Isui region. To venerate is that the word venerate? Almighty Sinnoh. However, it stole away from the word long ago, hiding itself from our sight. Almighty Sinnoh is only rarely seen by any human, and the tales are to be trusted. But there are still Pokemon here today in Hisui with a connection to Almighty Sinnoh, and it is the duty of us wardens, like myself, to attend their needs. Okay, the Pokemon that graces Deer Trek Heights is one of the honored few. It is directly descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's protection. Follow me, and you may understand. We have to go up to that rock. What the heck was that? Okay, let's check our moves. Okay, we'll confirm that. That's a good move set. So we get a cascoon. Hmm, what would hold this power? So coon. Okay. I'll have to catch another worm pool. Okay, let's go look around. You can find a cricket here. Fire! That is a back shot. I don't try too often. Sometimes it does work. Now, I'm going to be showing off a Pokemon that few people ever know how to get, and there are three forms of it. And you will need it for a quest. It's that berry tree over there. Okay. 
Okay, how did you Pokemon set? Okay. Wormy. Burmy. Sorry. Okay. Supposed to catch it. And it can be found in rattling trees. Here you can find the grass form. Quite interesting. Okay. Geodude. Our next partner will be Geodude. Now, you may be wondering. Oh, Stray Rock Smash. Why choose Geodude? Straight of Vision's not too hard in this game. Hold. Okay. Let's do a Pokeball. Click. Okay, we got it. Nice. Pepper plant. Okay. Now let's sketch this aqua jet. We'll heal up after this. And the speed is pure. Sorry, that's my chair. Geodude fell. Let's use our potion that we made. Heal our blade. Okay. Let's keep going. Now, we saw this earlier. This is. Black tumble stone, it'll be made to use a new Pokeball. Okay. Okay. You can keep going or you can go up here. No, it's following us. Eh, yeah, dude. I don't want to keep going further. I don't see any Pokemon. So, even your professor decided to join us. He did? He has a smile on his face. He's awesome! Woo, thank goodness I got here in time. As a researcher, I could probably miss out on the chance to observe an alpha now, could I? Suppose that's your business. Fine, as long as you stay out of the way, they want to get hurt. This is Deer Track Heights. This is where I've come to pay tribute to a special Pokemon descendant from one of the ancients blessed by Almighty Sinnoh. That's not it. It's only a troublemaker here to disturb the peace with its racket. Dalali whoop! And that's what you're here for, done to drive this into a rope or from this place. And sure your Pokemon are ready for the battle. That's a bug type. Upon my word, what a large specimen. What a wonder Pokemon are feared. What a wonder of a Pokemon are feared across the land if they're oversized as this one. Exactly, they're not big, you know. They're strong and make moves that others do not act upon. They're not to be trifled with, let me tell you what. I believe you are stronger than this alpha, so go show it what's boss. Careful, Don. Size is a potent weapon in and of itself. Not, no doubt this alpha is a powerful and strong hardy foe. You must fish it. Make sure your Pokemon are ready at their disposal. Yeah, I can explain. Okay. Go 
let's do this. Let's fire our Pokemon. Da -da -lee -whoop. Okay. Oh, it's true. Let's show them. Your fire fangs should cut through this bug type. Now they'll attack twice. Because they're an elf. Hold. Okay, fire fangs should do it. Okay, now let's try catching. Now, Elphas are different than regular Pokemon. They have stronger stats, that's about all. Yes, come on. No! Okay, hold, hold. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's try one more Pokeball before we knock it out. Sorry, that's the cats. Come on. Ugh. I realize. Hold. Yeah, I'll do it twice. Let's try one more Pokeball. Get the Pokeball. Actually, an elf is pretty hard. Do we have revives or do we gotta make them? We barely won that battle because I wanted to catch it. <sighs> you really are an impressive one, aren't you? Seeing someone best in alpha like that, it really reminds me of the legendary hero of old. We'd best make sure your Pokemon are taken care of facing such a foe. in the world. Meet Weird Deer, one of the new Hisuian evolutions of Weird Deer. No, a Stantler. The great Weird Deer. Now, I'll be showing off how you actually get Weird Deer. It's quite simple and easy. Here's what you gotta do. Get a stronger Stantler on level 20 or so. Then all you gotta do is unlock a move, then get strong and agile style, and then use that move in agile style 20 times. And I've tried using the move and agile style, it don't work. You have to use an agile style. Looks upon you with kindness, Don. Say the great weird earth taking a liking to you. That's fortunate. He's an esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the expanses of Hisui while bearing a human on his back. A human he deems worthy, at least. He is a blessing to us all. Like Breath of the Wild, this is your horse, so you don't have to walk everywhere. Remarkable, truly outstanding stuff. A Pokemon let someone ride on it. It's just like the ride Pokemon of Alola. Professor, I take it things went smoothly? I am Captain Sunline's orders. She said we'd be able to set up a base camp here once down to care for a request. Sweet! Ah, about that. 
I know this was a joint decision by Adam and the commander, but it still is truly fine for us to set up more base camps like this. The Hasui region is a land created by Almighty Sinnoh for the sake of its Pokemon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with the Pokemon, I imagine you should be allowed to use this land. The Great Weirder is taking a liking to Dawn as well. This is a great sign. I have my thanks for what you did today. Our clan leader will hear of how you aided us. I'll come show more. Come to show my appreciation with a proper reward as soon as I can. Okay, our request is done. Well, if we're going to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we better get to know them better. And the first step is to complete in the Pokedex. The construction course should be here soon, and I'll have a new base camp pitched in no time. Excellent! What a beautiful sunset. Here we have it. Our new base upon Deer Track Heights, I'll call it the Heights Camp. I think once upon a time they called it the Heights, that's pretty cool. From now on, when you set out from the village, you can ask to be escorted to this camp, base camp as well. When you start your excursions directly from here, that's pretty cool. Having more base camps ought to make ourselves and our survey work easier, huh? Well, that's that. How about we head to the wallflower like usual? Excellent. We got two new Pokemon. Okay. We would have had three if I didn't mess up that Burmy catch. Hmm. We all have ten. It's pretty good. Okay. Hmm, guys, a few more Pokemon and we'll be done. <laughs> Before we leave, we are going to go take a look at our Pokemon show, not shows. Our Pokemon fields. So we can get more. Benio, Chan, the usual. Potato Moochie, please. I'm making for three today. We all heard the grave news. The frenzied cleaver from the rumors it ended up mauling some of our galaxy team folks. Who went to investigate this morning? The medical corps had a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. Ah, this cleaver was reportedly struck by lightning. Yes, I did hear he's been behaving more erratically since then. Still, a further investigation is in order. The survey corps will, of course, step up to the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when researching unfamiliar Pokemon. But I'm sure Don can handle things here. <coughs> Sorry, shutting on my throat. But that cleaver is said to be much, much more powerful than even an alpha, isn't he? Now, now, you forget the strength of Pokemon or the key of information that we of the survey groups are duty bound to research. And since this perilous work of ours calls for a clear head and fighting fit physique, I do believe a good night's sleep is in order and after this fine meal. Okay. Let's go the next day. Rise and shine, Don. The boss wants you. Come on, dude. That is, get yourself to the commander's office. Okay. He's gonna be there for us, isn't he? Did you get a good rest? Yes, I did. Luke is being punctual. 
I only realized you're wishing off mighty sinner's precious time by bowing to a sham. Adam and Irida. Two lovely clan people, but when they meet each other, they always fight. Here you go again, assisting on your false image of Almighty Sino as a ruler of time. My people think that Almighty Sino is the ruler of space and creation. How could you say that all the space there is and still you don't know what to do with it? Excuse me, are you suggesting that you can make better of your time than we make of our space? That's pretty funny. Better than some, it's a miracle you showed up on time. Time! Oh, mighty leader of the Pearl Clan. Where you get lost in your pointless vast space, you're so fine to never show up. May you get lost. Almighty Sinner's great gift to the Pearl Clan and our world very vast basis. You wish. I wish I didn't have to let my second dragon to argue with you, oh my son, forgive me. What a waste of time! I'm going to see Commander Commando's office. I believe it was you who started this. That's pretty funny. They both think she knows something different. Just another day with these two, I see. The man's name, Adam, and he's the leader of the Diamond Clan. Put a lot of importance on time, you can tell. And the girl is here the here the park one. They're all about space. You hear what she called it, right? Our words very basis. <coughs> As they run into it, those two seem to have arguments flare up. Seems that they inherited some bad blood from their predecessors' strifes. No, not our problem. But you'll have problems if you don't get yourself to the commander's office. Okay. We're gonna go switch out some Pokemon. Yeah, I can go right here and change out your Pokemon. Okay. Next Pokemon. Okay, let's see what we're going to name this guy. Hmm, it's a rock type and earth. He's round and likes to roll. I think I'll name him Boulder. Okay, Electro Boulder and Blade. Okay, let's head back. Okay, let's go see the commander. Hmm, we're almost wrapped up. Next time, we will be getting a new Pokemon for our team. I actually thought about using this one, but I never actually intended to use it until now. Because there's one Pokemon that I can't figure it to work, but I think I can now. What do you intend to do about Cleaver, Commander Komodo? He may be descendant from a warrior of Almighty Sinnoh, but look at the mess he's causing. You can't sit back and let him rage on. You do get right to the point, Adamin. Time wasted is lost. I agree with that. Well, tell me, what do you have for us to do? Cleaver is the precious lord of the Pearl Clan. You're a diamond, aren't you not? That's my point. My clan can't intervene directly where the Lord of Pearl is concerned. If my people were to do something, our clans might end up back at each other's throats. Just like we used to be. But even folks of the Galaxy team but Moon did, haven't they? Seems someone's got to do something here. Who then? Would the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down one of its honorable nobles? I don't believe I said that. Thought it, maybe. 
as well have said it, you fool. Look, we don't even know what drove Lord Cleaver into such a violent frenzy. I like to know that myself. This is the first as far as my clan knows, too. Hmm. So you've arrived. This is Don, the newest member of our su survey corps. Aha! I hear from me you earned weird your favor. Good to finally meet you straight from the rift, huh? I am Adamant, leader of the Diamond Clan. If you want to be formal, but that's a mouthful. Just call me Adamant. If you could, if you came beyond space-time rift, could you be from the space where Almighty Seno is said to reside? I'm here. Arida, leader of the Pearl Clan, caution and foresight are my watch words. It's why I have trouble believing such a tale, could you really have passed through the rift? I have a proposition, why not send this one to study Cleaver before deciding what must be done? You'd send this stranger who supposedly fell from the rift to study Cleaver, this newcomer with no experience. Says the leader with almost no experience. Now that's mean, but pretty funny. Being a good leader is a matter of time. It's a matter of embracing you. Assume his vastness without fear. Well, there you have it. If how new you are doesn't matter, then give the kid a chance. I'm so, Commander. Let's try this thing out. This should be fun. I'll get to see how good you galaxy folk are, really. With all your weird ways. And the Pokemon and strange balls. And what have you? The whole, that whole practice bothers me. Mighty Sinnoh made his really vast so Pokemon could live freely. We're meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. We do not use Pokeballs from a desire to control our Pokemon, only so that we can live together. Allow us to show you what can be done. This is your mission now, Don. I order you to study Cleaver and help us find the truth of the situation. I accept. Uh. Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the vast sky above us. People naturally suspicious of your presence here. You wish to be fully accepted and trusted. You must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone. Well, then it's settled. There's no time with the present. The Lord of the Woods Cleaver is ascended from a Pokemon bus with Almighty Sinnoh's power. No other Pokemon you've yet encountered can compare to its strength. Be warned. Listen to me. The Galaxy Expedition Team has come to the Hisui region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us interlopers. We mustn't do anything to threaten our relations with the Diamond and Pearl Glands, understand? Join me downstairs, Don. We'll cover the details of this new mission. Okay. Okay. What do you gotta say? I wondered you came along at a good time. I'm looking for a pickling stone. Am I lending me a hand? It needs to be the right size to fit atop one of my pickle pots and have enough to put a nice firm pressure on the pickle from the fermented. Hmm, it's supposed to be hard to lift such a heavy thing within the pot. The best thing that would fit the stone to lift it, actually, oh, rather good idea. There's a Pokemon called Geodude that lives in Deer Jack Heights. It would be perfect for the job. Could you just be one to bring it back for me? I'll head home and wait for you there. Okay. I'll have to catch another Geodude. Okay. Looks like we're gonna go study Cleaver. Oh, good. We're already here. Where's the Lavington? A briefing, if you please. Yes, let's get right to it, Don. I understand you've been requested to find the cause of Cleaver's frenzied state. 
As you're aware by now, Cleaver is a mighty thing. Nigh, invincible even. A security corps tried throwing Pokeballs at Cleaver, and they were attacked, but I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. Seems he's far trickier opponent than even the aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they riled up. I would like to be perfectly clear on this point. A mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? Of course! Not particularly! I don't think I'll survive. Well, you have no choice in the matter. That's not very nice! You think you can do it? No? You have no choice. You'll be slaughtered anyway. That is mean and morbid. Let's go over the details. You need to know to survive this mission. The Diamond and Pearl clans revere their nobles because their Pokemon believe these Pokemon serve Almighty Sinnoh. They leave offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokemon in locations they call the Noble Seats. So perhaps a good starting point for our research could be to find out what sorts of offerings in our money for Cleaver. I don't mean to speak with you. Listen, that rift in space time seems like it connects the world, other world. The world might be where Almighty Sinnoh resides, the true Almighty Sinnoh. That is the one that rules over time. So if you fell from the space time rift, that might mean you travel through time by Almighty Sinnoh's power. Think of it, you must be just swimming in divine might now. Well, I got a favor to ask you, oh, amazing time traveler. Don't just study Cleaver, quell his frenzy. Well, you certainly caught us a good time, young Adamin. Quell his frenzy. Oh, this is gonna be fun. We were just discussing our next steps with regard to this whole Cleaver situation. Oh, -ho, you must be the Galaxy Team Scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Share some of that knowledge with me sometime. Now let me elaborate a little. Those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Cleaver. They heard his title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they'd rather get this under control too, but it's hard to come right out and ask those of the Galaxy team to help. And the truth is, we in the Diamond Clan have a similar problem on our hands. A Pokemon dear to us off in the mountains has fallen into some type of frenzy as well. Well, there's certainly bad blood between us and the Pearl Clan, but still, we've all got to share his suit, but that means we ought to tackle our problems together. But there aren't many capable of such a powerful Pokemon. You're the best hope we've got. You'll find Cleaver at Grand Tree Arena. It's in the very heart of the Heartwood. His warden is a boy named Leon. Leon is a brilliant child, but also a bit, well, sometimes brilliance can be blinding, you know. He'll tell you all about his beloved Cleaver, whether you wish him to or not. Anyway, I'm sure you're up to the challenge, so we'll be counting on you. See you later! Or as the cook would say, see you later! Well, he just said his piece and vanished. He must value his time that much, I guess. Adam and May weren't wrong, you know. If you're study, if you're going to study and perhaps even quell Cleaver, you best start visiting his abode. Now that we've got to the Heights Camp, it should be quite easy to go there. And don't forget to visit the pastures. Choosing your Pokemon makes quite a difference. Okay, let's go. Finding yourself unable to pick up materials to come across, satchels are always full. If it sounds like you want to lend me your ear for a moment, I can help. Hmm, this guy is really helpful. You can change your satchel size and pretty good. We'll do that later. Not a big thing. Okay, now here comes the fun part. Now, I recommend you talk to this guy right off the bat, as soon as he becomes optional, because he can help you. 
I'd be really grateful if you could craft something from the special recipe I came up with. A polka doll! Three pieces of wood, that's all you gotta find. Okay. So the recipe for I invented them. I see a special items I could get make in the village. I'd love to have you craft one and show it to me. Looking forward to it. Okay. At the car for picking it recipes. Okay. These are crafting recipes. Okay. You're gonna want one once as soon as you come across it. Cause this is how you're gonna make your money. You're gonna get a recipe. I say hunger is a bit is the best seasoning, but I'd rather rely on the quality of Suit foot roots to make my potato much tastier. Hmm. Basically, the make a money guide you'll get these shards and stardust crafted, and you can make a star piece or a comet shard. That's about what you gotta do. Quite interesting. What's behind us? How are things, my good friend? I should only hope that you're put in the secret backstroke technique I taught you to good use. Either way, I have some super potions here for you. I'll think nothing of it. Having the survey corps out and studying Pokemon is great for business, you know. Supporting you is actually an investment for my own fortunes. You obtain three super potions. Now you'll learn how to make it too. Now I must support. The ruins are calling me. Okay. Okay, you can go to the heights camp by going down. I would always go to the first game, forget to, and then I have to whisk myself off with the flying thing. Okay, I have a few minutes before we wrap up. Okay. Now let's go catch some Pokemon. Medical leak. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, there's a few Pokemon that I'm gonna want to get here. Okay, go up here. Ooh, Stardust. Whenever you see a shiny thing there, get it. Stardust is very rare and it actually is a lot of good money. When you're first out here and you find shiny ones, get them. Now I will be certain to you. If you have a fire type, you can easily take down that alpha. But if you see a rock like that moving, is that a geodude or a graveler? I don't recommend you doing that. Okay, let's look around. Okay. Okay. Okay, Crooketoon. Let's see if we can catch it. Okay, we got Crooketoon. Nice. Okay. Good. Okay, another piece of iron chunk. Okay. Okay, let's try to go up here, roll. Okay. It's supposed to be around here. Ah, yes, yes. Going the right way. I just need to find my way. Restarting is a little bit hard. It's so vast, but you'll find it. I think I know I'm going the right way now. Okay. What's that? We'll need that. 
Okay, let's go over here, avoid that Pokemon, that's it's strong. Okay. Okay, go down a little. Ooh! That was kind of hard. Okay, some tumble stones, iron chunk. Now around here you can find Munchlax, but try to be cautious. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I don't think I know where I'm going. Oh, I don't want to stamp. I want to go back to camp. Ah, yes, right here. Found it. Okay. Is this the right way to go? Hmm. Should be around here. Should be around here. Probably next time we'll find it. Yay. I'm actually looking for a specific Pokemon. It's Stantler around here. I don't think I'm gonna find it. Next time, we're gonna go look for Stantler, and hopefully we're gonna find it. Enjoy this episode. Now your comment question. What do you think is better, a Diamond Clan or a Pearl Clan? My opinion, I think a Garatina Clan would be pretty cool. See you guys next time. Bye!